Unless you're one of these composers published by one of these big kahunas of the classical music world, chances are you're going to have to self-publish your musical scores. Now, one way to do this is to post your score directly to your website so anyone interested in it can access it, learn more about it, and purchase it so they can ultimately perform it. But then the next question you might ask is, well, why would anyone want to buy my piece if I just post it willy-nilly online? I mean, who doesn't like free sheet music, am I right? Well, that's where the magic of watermarking comes in handy. Behold. That's amazing, right? So with this watermark, now it becomes protected in a sense from being played from because it's quite difficult to read the score when there's all that annoying text in the way. So let's figure out how to do this with Adobe Acrobat Pro. So for today's tutorial, I'm gonna focus on an eight and a half inch by 11 inch score PDF. That way we can stick to a standard size that's here in the United States. Of course, you can do this watermark for any size score that you want. But we're just gonna stick to this. So we're gonna go to my piece as Waj from 2018. And we can see here that if we just zoom out, we can see that there are no watermarks on this. This is just the score on its own exported from Sibelius. So we need to figure out how to put a watermark on this. So if you go to the right hand side of the program, you'll see that it says edit PDF. So let's go ahead and click that. Now you'll see a bunch of buttons just showed up on the top here. And you can see that we have our button in question watermark. So let's go ahead and click that and click add. And now you'll see the add watermark tab. Now you'll see that in the save settings up here, we actually see a bunch of different save settings that I already did. So if we click for per usual use only letter, you'll actually see that my for per usual use only watermark is populated and I just have to click okay down here and I'm all set. But of course for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this from scratch. So let's go back to none specified and you'll see it's blank. So let's go ahead and type for per usual use only. And you'll see here it shows up horizontally in the program and we're gonna figure out how to rotate it a little bit later. First, we need to make sure that we have the font that we want. I like Arial, I'll just stick to that. And then for the size, I'm gonna go with let's say 40 and that makes it a little bit bigger. And then I don't worry about any of this stuff here. I just skip that. Now we go to appearance, rotation. And over here, you'll see that we can actually rotate this text. I like rotating it 45 degrees, so I'll click that. And there you go. It's rotated just like I, how I had it before. And then that's it. That's basically the whole watermark. You can do other things to it. You can change the vertical distance. So if I wanna move it, I can move it a little bit higher. And uh, there I put it back. If I wanna put it a little bit lower, I can put it negative one. If I wanted to change it horizontally, I can also do that. So you can always change this however you want, depending on how you want to do it. And then after that, what I would do is actually save the settings. And then I would save current settings as, for example, what I showed you before, for per usual use only with that parentheses letter in it. And then boom, you have your save settings. It's amazing. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like when I just click OK over here. And there you go. It says for per usual use only on every single page of the score. So now that we figured out how to make one watermark score, what if we wanna apply a watermark to say a bunch of different parts all at one time? Well, that's really easy. Let's take a look at my saxophone quartet that I just finished. I have four parts over here. So let's take a look at the first one. This is alto saxophone part. I'm gonna double click on it. And just like we did before, I'm gonna to go to my right hand side here, click edit PDF. And then at the very top here, I'm gonna to go to watermark. And then I'm gonna click add. And I'm just gonna skip all this here and go straight to my for per usual use only save setting. And then you'll see it right here. So instead of having to do this for all the different parts, what I like to do is actually head down to the button right here that says apply to multiple files. I'll click that. And then what I'll do is go to that finder window where I have the other parts and I'll just drag all these parts into Adobe Acrobat Pro. And then you'll see the four parts populated there. And then I'm just gonna click okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and just click okay once again. 
and now it's going to add all those different watermarks. So it's going to take a few seconds for it to do that. And now check this out. I have here a tenor saxophone part with a watermark. I have an alto saxophone part with a watermark. I have a baritone saxophone part with a watermark. And I have, let's see, a soprano saxophone part with a watermark. So I just did this all in one easy step and now we're good to go. If you have any questions about this process, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you wanna take your composition journey to the next level, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one composition lessons through my link down in the description below. Now my next kernel of wisdom for you is to check out this video where I go through my top five favorite composer websites.